I was gonna say, I think it's part of the slasher paradigm that I'm used to. I mean, we talked about this. Um, uh, Survivor Girl. You know, you have a pack of people, you know one's only gonna make it out, and you've usually identified pretty early which one it is. It's a very lonely existence, being the uh, Survivor Girl. <laughs> All your friends die around you. You know, you I don't know if we had any friends. Well, we had people on the ship and they're all just disappearing. You're on the floor above the Apollo core. This whole area contains Apollo supportive systems with the AI core itself at the center. Apollo prevented Samuels from lifting the lockdown remotely. But once you're inside, he made sure it'll at least talk to you. I have to keep reminding myself that there's going to be an alien. But let's recap something really quick. What is Apollo? Why is it so difficult to communicate with it? And what are we going to do when we get here? Okay, good. Um, Apollo, my understanding is Apollo is the AI for this entire right. place. And it has two noses. It has, <laughs> right. The dual nose, the infamous dual nosed AI. Uh, and it's hard to communicate with because uh, it's crabby for some reason. Uh, we should Grumpy. revisit why that is. Grumpy AI, okay. But first, we should read some logs. So we're gonna physically go to the location where the AI is? Extremely sorry for the current disruption in services. Mm. Sorry, I wanted to listen to that. Um, let's pause that for a moment sure. while we read Tomorrow Together, number three. Together tomorrow, Siegson's journey into colonial space, an official history by Sebastian Sieg, first printed in Eye of Siegson, our ascension to Sevastopol. While Siegson prepared for its ascension into colonial space, its foothold was under construction. Sevastopol, a station with unparalleled potential and a perfect position deep in deep space. Sevastopol began as Freeport, built by Lorenz Sistek, Development. I thought they were going to try and sell me <clears throat> that Lorenz Sistek was a person mm -hmm. for a second. I was about to get mad. Uh, and funded by our friends at Geofund Investor. The station's opening would, however, coincide with tumults in the space race. Years of mismanagement and the rerouting of the Sol Theodos flight plan left Sevastopol in real danger of being decommissioned. Thankfully, Siegsum were waiting in the wings to <laughs> re-energize the station among many others. Uh, in 2124, we arrived in Sevastopol and made possible the buzzing cosmopolitan hub you see today. Mm. So a little opportunism happening there. Uh, also the Sol Thetis flight plan, Thetis? Theod I feel right? like I can't get enough, yeah, probably Thetis. It's like a bullet train. Japan, right? Yeah, yeah. I've come over to Apollo to find out what sent the two guys crazy. This place has gone to hell. Apollo's redirected core android duties, and they've just walked away from the maintenance we requested after we got the news. Coolants everywhere, gas has escaped, and the primary access lift has shut itself down. I flagged the help request, but apparently I'm 45th in line. Systems are suddenly obsessed with hazard containment. I'm gonna find a way down. Spreading out. So yeah, I think we're literally traveling to the core because that's, you know, what you do in movies like this. Huh. You go to okay. the core. Uh, you know, something's fucked up on the server, the remote desktop is working, you have to oh boy. You've got to be shitting me. Uh-oh. Okay, so not in the angry room. <laughs> no, 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 go turn around, turn around. Go one of these doors, right or left. Are these... I keep getting, uh... keep getting confused in what is and is not a door. Yeah. Well, we definitely don't want to turn around. Maybe no, we want to use that computer. Room. Good idea. Want to go in. That was a green button. 
Oh, I see. I'll bet. Oh, I don't like this at all. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this at all. No. Yeah. This is like every time I go to the courthouse. You gotta put your flamethrower on the belt. <laughs> I was hoping you would just leave that one alone. Um, Go through. I mean, it's not like I was using any of those anyways. Uh, whatever, dude. Go All through. All I need is this flare. No, can you pick them up? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no. Will you please let me it through this? It looks like there was a button you got to push. Yeah. Um, by the oh, belt. maybe I have to like oh. actually go through. There you go. Yeah. I was going through the metal detectors wrong. Uh -huh. Another problem I have. Ricardo, the lane's blocked off. The schematics they use for the Sevastopol sales tour should be nearby. See if there's a back door. A back door. Compass. Schematics. Check Apollo sales tour schematics. Where would I find said it schematics? It says they're in this room. I don't want to make it easy, huh? What about that door? Oh yeah, this thing, the table. Aha. I can't read that upside down. Okay, let's see. There's a power conduit that links to the Apollo core. I can use that. You think you'll fit? Turn off the electrics, take some deep breaths, squeeze. Easy. I'm not coming up there to pull you out if you get stuck. 4930. Yeah. All right. I love hearing her do what we do. You know what I mean? Go up this thing, go over here, move this thing to the left. Yeah, it'll be easy. Mm-hmm. Save. Wow, this is gorgeous right here. Yeah, it's really pretty. The way the light just clicked on this uh, aqua. Hardly not to a life conjure is going to hurt, though, right? I'll have to power it down first. Whoa, even the emergency thing is... A little different, yeah, say that. You know what's great is I know right now if we were able to touch that floor, I know the texture, I know that it'd be kind of cold. Seriously, just mm -hmm. good job. Unless some asshole it's like... It's got some like water sparks put too. Put a flare on it or something, you know what I mean? What a dick. It's good to amuse yourself in these games. <laughs> oh, probably could have used that flare actually. Yeah. Whoa. That looks like something I want to jump immediately into. Yep. Mm-hmm. Go in there. That's reception. Ah. Uh, oh, no, it's not. But still. Back to pain and terror world. Have we name dropped the movie Brazil yet? I feel like that needs to happen. No. Apollo sales one sheets. Why an Apollo system for your deep space orbital station? Hannah, the question you just had, let me tell you why. <laughs> you know, the key is self-regulation and Android maintenance. Security through removal of synthetic self-determination. Instant communication. No interference. Let me highlight that again, no interference. Mm -hmm. Lightning fast data movement across the station. Reliable, efficient, self-sustaining, a true SeekSim product. I'd buy one. They didn't even mention uh, Henry the Robot or whatever the fuck his name was. I love him. Bad path. Bad path. Error. Illegal seek. <laughs> I just want to start yelling in the voice of the computer. That could be my contribution, right? Oh, you're doing just fine. What kind of asshole put this flare? Seriously, though, look, I... It's pretty nice. It's gorgeous. It's really... Whoever worked on this tunnel, you guys are great. <laughs> tunnel people. <laughs> tunnel Sega people. tunnel team, let me tell you. <laughs> Apollo tunnels. Whoops. I had this uh, moment 
when actually it was right when I saw Tron Legacy. I don't know if you ever saw that. Yeah, uh, no, I didn't actually. I'm a big like our tourist person. Um, I like to think that there's one creator to something. Uh, sorry, this is sounding crazy and religious. Uh, like an art piece, right? I like to go, oh yeah, that Tarantino movie is good because Tarantino is a genius. I don't think about his editor or his colorist or the actors. I think Tarantino the genius made a movie. That's a little myopic, don't you think? I mean, our tourism's uh, about having one person to, to hold accountable for things. It takes a lot of people to accomplish this. It's a collaboration. But, you know, as decisions get run up a chain, someone has the final say. I think of the director as responsible like the captain of a ship. But I mean, without being there, you don't always know who to really applaud for specific artistic accomplishments. Ricardo, the conduit's offline for now. I've pulled up the Apollo schematics here. It looks like you can get to the access to the turbine shaft. The turbine's running hot, Ricardo. Full speed. There'll be an emergency shutoff nearby, but it won't stay off forever. You'll have to get inside quickly. All right, let's just play this really quick. Ray, it's Chief. There's something wrong with your synthetics. The team I requisitioned to acid strip lower habitation just stopped in their tracks. They bought something about a hazard containment order, tried to get into my control booth, and then just marched off. I know I always complain about those spooky bald bastards, but now I've got proof their wiring's faulty. I've got a meeting with your boss Spedding tomorrow, and I'm gonna kick some ass. So when he starts kicking your ass, well, it's coming from me. Anyways, the credits to Tron Legacy were very, very long. There's a lot of people who worked on the movie, and I couldn't find one per- I can't just say, oh, head of the art department. Good job you did. So when I see something like a hallway like this, it's one of those things where, you know, I don't know, it's hard for my brain to, to wrap around who was in charge of making that gorgeous. Mm. Who's the person I pat on the back, you know what I mean? You like the Steve Jobs model. I do, I do, we're, we're yeah. We're talking a lot about Apple today. Speaking of, actually, funny little um, roundabout here. Uh, the video production team for Apple, uh, I was interning there when Tron came out. Oh, really? Yeah, and I was talking to them about Tron, and it was so interesting. Um, I won't say who, because I want to protect... Protect I the identities I, I, of the innocent? Yeah, I mean, no, it was actually a really interesting conversation. I just don't want to... Like, whatever. Out them. You know, I'm being weird. Um, no, someone told me that they got into motion graphics because of Tron. Oh, the original Tron. Yeah. You weren't working there during the original Tron, no. though. No. <laughs> oh, man, wouldn't that be exciting? Uh. <laughs> and, like, the whole team went out to go see that movie together, the, the new one, which was really cool. You know, getting uh, further into film, though, and learning a lot more about it has actually... It's fixed that Tron uprising problem or Tron legacy or what the, whatever the fuck that movie is called. Turbines off. Way should be clear. Better run. If Apollo systems overheat, they'll reboot. Okay. Run. And it's to the right. Uh... to the narrow vents that I don't wanna. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is gonna be tight. Good luck. Ripley. You're getting deeper into Apollo and your radio signal's getting faint. I'm gonna lose you soon. Great. Just keep them cross for me, huh? There's gonna be lots of Jones down there, Rip. Could be dangerous. Sam sacrificed himself so I could get here. I've got to try. I thought he was a pretty nice guy for a synthetic. Me too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh. All right, pick up oh, some scrap here. Just stop. Ricardo, main entrance is locked. Any idea what to do next? I can't hear you, Ricky. Your signal's just in the face. Big space. All right. Ricardo? Yeah, let's save. For Christ's sake. If you can hear me, find another way to make con content. Something's up with my earpiece. Oh. So 
So let's... I'm going to follow the tracker because the tracker tells us what to do. Mm-hmm. Oh. Whoa. What is that? There's gas in here. Do you remember that one weird room that just killed me automatically every time uh, we walked into it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sucked. Oh, yes. What was the deal with that? Gas mask. Oh, well, that was the deal with that. Go to the Do terminal. I, just... I think it's just on you now. I wonder if there's a helpful hint about gas masks in here. Oh. Apollo would ask for your patience during the current hazard containment alert, which is currently at <laughs> Omega. Thank That's you. That's so funny. Play. Spetty, uh, something crazy just happened. Sebastopol is off the market. We got a buyer. The weeks before they start taking the place apart, they U-turn. After all those. Endless presentations and tours, I guess the talks weren't stalled at all. Someone at company headquarters just had to click his fingers. A message of confirmation just came in. Apollo's currently receiving a package of new operation blue sets. So, I guess, the deal is sealed. And this is more than ever to know stuff until it's fast to share numbers. Why all the scary music? Oh, shit. Yeah, the scary mm. music really doesn't want me to You've know what's going on here. Let's see if this works. I don't think that works, dude. It's um, probably not, huh? No. Yes. Yes. Maybe not. Uh, uh, uh. You knew that was Why coming. Would an I love that. <laughs> the android has a hazmat. Right? I mean, like, it's cute, but why? How about you, uh, One shoot this guy? Yeah. Safety <laughs> you just hit him in the head. Dude, fire does not work very well with these guys. And One of my... he's got a hazmat suit. One of my... Oh, I don't have any of my guns. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. One of my favorite things in the world is that do you light them on fire, and then they just keep following you. I fucking love that. Mm -hmm. Really? Hmm. There's two of them now. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Running causes accidents. I don't know if you were aware. What did he say? Running causes accidents. blindly right now yeah I am aware okay I probably just missed a bunch but I can't seem to care about that right this second. yeah we're gonna have to go back this um, is a rather ominous uh, console here see in my head this is what it looks like I'm doing all day I know mm -hmm. to you it looks like I was sitting in front of that little junk TV but <laughs> to me sitting over here doing some important editing of some kind that thing? Oh, I was stuck on a rail. You notice how I hit yes on the uh, the first attempt on that save? Good job. Yeah. Very nice. Look at the map. I don't wanna. All right, so this was the left. Um. All right. 
got a couple things going on here. I feel like less things were, uh, well, we don't know how many things are trying to kill us. A lot, judging from the soundtrack. Well, in the previous bank, there were a oh. lot. What are you doing? I have an idea. You're gonna just hit him in the butt. That's yeah, your idea. that was my plan. That was great. Perhaps not the best plan, but uh. Why did you melee the guy? Um, You're out of stun. Out of stun. Never out of stun. I said never out of stun. Mm. I don't want to hide from the robots. I want to what about stun the robots. The fucking... Wow. He's got a hazmat suit on. Really. You cannot simply melee. No, that fucking wrench. The wrench. Wrench doesn't do anything. Yes, it does. The wrench is basically a tool that lets the android know you want them to kill you. Mm. I didn't know I had to reload the batteries on my stomaton. Yes, you did. It's got... Batteries? One unit left. You've got one attack left. All right, I can do this without alerting that guy. I'm just gonna use a noisemaker. Up, one of them should give me access to Apollo security banks. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Fuck. Is there a smarter way to do this than just hiding? So, how do I hide so that they don't see me? Can we get started to figure out what our objective is here? We have to turn all these things on. <laughs> oh my god. Yikes. Oh. Yes, see? I saw a tunnel. Distracted with the noisemaker. They're right on you. Yeah. All right. So we'll just get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Can't they hear how noisy that noisemaker is, though? It's like really noisy. I know. Uh. Okay. What's the objective? Yeah. 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 Oh, our good old friend. This. uh this locker. It's been such a long time. Well, we were searching the left-hand side for uh, something, and we found it. Fuck. I will find you. Hmm. There you are. All right. Ah! I'm really just getting tired of this. Dude, you gotta... The only thing you can do... Oh. In my opinion, is use the wrench and beat them. You know how many times you have to hit one of these things with a wrench for it to go down? Oh no. They are kind of coming right oh, for this locker, no. huh? Looking for you is wasting valuable company time. Stop moving, stop moving.
Well, while we're in here, <gasps> we have to use an access tuner on the dome terminal to gain access. Okay. So we just got to make our way back in there, which appears to be right across the street. Can we go look at our items again? Ooh, not easily. These items? Clear, stun, med, molotov. Ugh, we are not in good yeah, shape Yeah, I know, right we now. just don't have much Can we to... Can make any stuff? Yeah, but only more of what we've got. I mean, EMP is the only thing I really want right now. Yeah, I know, me too. I think they purposefully make the EMP fucking impossible to make. Yeah. See, doing it by items also, from a game design standpoint, gives them the ability to restrict when we can make them. So if mm -hmm. they just don't put one important thing, say a charge pack or <laughs> whatever the fuck it's called, in the level with all the androids, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do we check this one? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. Uh, sorry. And had the audio log that the scary music yeah. uh, ate. All right, let's look at that compass. So left and left, right? It certainly seems that way. A little too easy. All right, back into the androids. We can, it's right on the other side of this wall. We can blow straight through here, although we missed a computer. Oh, the vents will get us there. Actually, we missed a couple computers. What about left here? Uh-huh. There's gotta be something in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are the computers that you need to mess with? Computer. Just tell me. Just tell me uh, what's on the no. computer. What are you doing? I want to know. Oh my god. What happened? Uh, uh, I don't know. Something awful. I think it has to do with the water. Ugh. All right, all right, that was my fault. Sigh. I want to take these guys out, because I want to know what's yeah, on these computers. Yeah, we got to be able to kill them somehow. This is bullshit. And I just can't feel... Look, there's two computers, and I know... Hannah, mm -hmm. this may be news to you, but this is not a completionist run. <laughs> However... Do I have to poke you right in the face? No, I will. it's just... Uh... We're going to try it your way. Yeah, see, I don't think that's going to work. Uh-huh. There's a tunnel in this room. I think it was locked, perhaps? Which computer are we missing? Oh, you're talking about the terminals, not the little light. Yeah, yeah. Uh. 
So, wrenching the androids. Are we good that that's not an option? Yeah. But what? there's nothing else destructive. It's almost as if the game is intentionally making it so we can't kill the androids right now. <laughs> Let's just go where it wants us to go. We'll miss out on the computers. There's clearly an audio file I really want to hear. You like how I just played it and then ran away? As <laughs> if that was going to... So we got to backtrack. Well, we can or go a couple ways. We can forward track. All right. I think it's time to uh, go into Gazelle Amanda. So we're going to bolt forward for as much forward as we can okay. until we have to turn a hard right and then we're going to turn another hard right does this count as forward? crap um, we're in the center right now okay oh wait yeah yeah right okay and left yeah Yep. If I come across an android, I'm going to be in some trouble. I I have nothing to. I mean, I can smoke bomb them, I guess, I don't and know then if that's gonna work. run bit. Wow. Well, I don't know if anything's going to work yeah, right, right now. That locked. Okay. Well, that at least got us oh, away look. from them. Well, this is an interesting little yeah. tunnel experience. Where are we? Um, probably in that metal dome thing. Yes. Yep. Save. With our smoking bomb in one hand. What do you think it says about this part of the game that it gives us a save in every other room? <laughs> um. Okay. Wow. What? Oh my god. Holy shit. This is not going to be easy. Okay. Oh, oh no. Okay, hold on. Something is amiss. Yeah, wait. It's it does not want us to do that. Maybe it's just because we're Look in at the this core. Fucking crazy room. I know. It's just asking this to time out. Um, hit, hit start. What is, what are, sorry, what are our, what, go to the map. What else? Find a way to reduce the security capabilities. I bet, oh, within the core. So we, there were those two tunnels with low memory to the Yeah, thingies. maybe there's something we could do in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe try and go back into the tunnel, see if... We can fuck with the computer yeah. or something. Low power to this device. Well, the map seems to indicate that we should do something within this room. Keep looking for just a cable I can pull out or something. I don't Go know. Go back to the console in the shaft. Yeah, in there, in there. What's the, what's that? What's that? Wait. Oh. Aha. Mm. I bet this mm. suddenly magic uh. happens. Oh fuck. It's fine.
there. Okay. I'm not always sure what the puzzles are. I kind of just put one of the blinky things mm -hmm. on the other blinky things. <laughs> I've had my flashlight on for too long. It doesn't want to. So you think then we hit this? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. You have, in fact, got it. Oh, one of these again. Cool. I don't really remember. Keep going left. No, keep going the other way. Um. Oh, I see. I don't. That's it. Should make the job easier. Oh, from the top and bottom mm -hmm. values. Now we're gonna go into the core. Oh, this is super cool. Yeah, so I guess Apollo is kind of... It's weird to think about where Apollo is. I don't feel like Apollo is in here. I think this is just the heart of Apollo. So I don't know. I think it's inside that dome. Well, I mean, like, really, what is Apollo if it's an AI? It's the whole, it's the I whole system. I imagine we're going to go in there and there's going to be this man behind a curtain and he's just going to go, <laughs> Oh, hello. Uh, I you don't weren't think, supposed to see that. I think that's a different game. Why has yeah. nobody made a good game out of that? Wizard of Oz, that would be weird. I feel like that would be creepy. Okay, here oh, we go. Oh wow, this is infinitely um, easier. Oh. Nope. <laughs> As okay. I fuck it up. That one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, they give us a ton of time now. It's almost silly. Consult with Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> Who has disturbed the great Apollo? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Apollo, uh, we just want to talk. Uh, Look at the dome. Just Maybe still. you're right. Maybe it is. Oh, man. Oh, it's starting to feel like the Matrix. I was thinking, um, 2001. Oh, fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. What the hell? You're kidding me. Sons of bitches. It isn't on the damn station. Is that telling us that the alien is on the damn station? Uh, that seems to I'm be... I'm officially checking my radar again. We should save. That was cool. Well, I've really enjoyed this sprint through the game we've been on. Oh my god. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, now that we know our friend is back, I'm afraid we're going to have to hide in vents forever for the rest of the game. Yeah, I don't think we know, actually. I mean, it just said unverified. Exit Apollo beneath core. Oh. Oh, with this helpful ladder that just appeared. Gosh, convenient. Wayland Yutani. Building better world. All right, so we know what's going on here. Uh, Wayland Yutani knows about the creature or knows there is a creature. They think they can, I don't know, profit. Yeah, they, step three. Yeah, right. So They're gonna we're step inside three to step two right now. That's yes. what's happening. Step yes. one creature, step two. Question mark. Step three profit. <laughs> right, exactly. Step two is alien isolation. Mm. We've solved 
the internet. Yeah. Uh, we never got those damn computer. I'm so upset about this. Oh my gosh. It was like one thing. We're fine. And we still got an achievement. Outgoing message. Uh, I'm not going to read all of these. Temporary emergency. Uh, no further information. There's a purchase order. Mm-hmm. Unverified scans. Protect specimen. Okay, so this is showing the log yeah, of yeah, it yeah. actually happening. Cool. Wait, go up. What was the last thing it said? Will you go back? The very last entry, it said, um, threat to specimen detected. Uh, oh. So because, oh, because we attacked the alien, that's why the androids went into Got level it. Omega. Nice. Good catch. Yeah. Fuck. That's insane. Um, Ripley, Amanda, level two. Expendable. Mm. Aha. Sorry, I totally glossed over those last two. Very important. Let's go um, and keep things quiet. Okay. Spedding its ransom. With the Wayland yutani buyout, it's more important than ever that the flight recorder handover goes without a hitch. They'll be low-level execs and won't know jack about the buyout, but if they hear rumors about a disappearing people problem, well, I don't want to rock the boat, and neither do you. Let's just keep everything nice and quiet. We don't want them having second thoughts. In the uh, words of our friends Heather and Emery, we miss you, Hitch. I guess that's it. Okay. Super interesting. All right, well. The only thing left to do is to climb back up this no, ladder, I no, guess. No, no, we no. We go in this platform. <laughs> now you don't want to climb back in the ladder? Fuck that. Yeah. Oh, yes, engineering. If only it was just as easy as hitting a button. Yo, come to Ricardo. I'm here. What's the news? Comes from the Wayland Yutani protocols. This what? Citizens sold out. Wayland Yutani are in control of Apollo now. It's refusing to lift the lockdown. It says there's something up with the reactor. You're from the company. Tell it you don't give a shit and to do what you say. Sorry, Ricardo, but I'm small fry. Me, Samuels, Taylor, we all are. Guess if we amounted to anything, Apollo wouldn't be so ready to see us killed. I saw this and I was like, that alien is really hungry and totally on board the ship. <laughs> Alright, so just a couple of androids hanging out. No big deal. It's really annoying that we don't have our weapons. I have to be honest with you, I am super fucking stressed out right now. I have no idea. Also, the weapons are very far away. It's not like we finished a mini level yeah, and right, we can go back right. and get them. It's Miraculously, like... we'll wind up falling out of an elevator shaft and be right there. All right. Something weird's happened. Synthetics are on the fritz, so I found some guys to help me out. I sent one of them into a manufacturing room, but he never came out. Every door is locked, and he sure as hell couldn't fit through the air vent without a fight. We don't know what to do. It doesn't seem right to keep working without looking for him, but there's nowhere to look. Our ship's over soon. I'll report the incident to Waits and the Marshals. Yeah. to uh pretty please how the fuck do I get over there am I missing something here um I'm missing an engineer something weird's happened synthetics are on the fritz so I found some guys to help me out I sent one of them into a manufacturing room but he never came out 
sent one of them into a manufacturing room, but he never came out. Everything was locked, and he sure as hell couldn't get through the air gap without a fight. We don't know what to do. Safe point. No hostels nearby. I guess we're totally safe. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Can I just give uh, kudos to our Mac Pro that's working super fucking hard <laughs> right now? Please vacate area. Engineering access restricted. I remember having computers in my life where these effects were available, all the smoke and ambience, and I just couldn't turn it on. My computers wouldn't do it. Yeah. Getting cheaper all the time, that technology. Let's see, or I mean, yeah. Map button. Hit map. Yeah. Get to the reactor. Um. Um. I think engineering. Uh, I feel like we gotta turn. Ooh, I see a panel. We can turn off that camera. Well. Damn it! These things just aren't helpful. I know. We're just sneaking around. Fuck. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck you. Why does this robot have ethanol on him? <laughs> I He's got a drinking problem. I do not approve of this. Beep boop beep. So you want me to turn off the camera feed? Yep, and turn on air purification. How will Why people we see us? Why turn on that unstable system? That sounds <laughs> I know, right? fun. Just Wait, cause. Who, are there any other tabs? No, nah, that was it. Oh. Look at that nice little fan. Oh, here we go. We're back at places where humans were, so we're gonna get a ton of stuff now. What was that hold to use? Oh. Wow. Nice. That can't be healthy. Oh, it's our air purifier fucking everything up. Mm-hmm. Um. Hey, how about some health, man? These blueprints. Dude, you're you're gonna die if anybody touches you right now. Oh, good call, man. You are on this. And can we charge our batteries? Since you like to walk around with the flashlight all the time. I do. I do like to walk around with the flashlight all the time. Fun with crafting. We could probably make some EMP mines right now. You think so? Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, look. This will help us once. <laughs> we have a lot of other stuff. Let's, like, stock up. Damn. Uh, any of these you'd like? I mean, I just mm. don't. I'm gonna be really honest with you. I don't give a Stun fuck baton? about anything but EMP mines. Stun baton? Can't, uh, can't refill it. I think we need to, like, find batteries mm. for it or something. Oh, good. Bolt ammo? I wonder if we can find a projectile weapon. It seems as if they're setting us up for a new weapon. About damn time. <laughs> hey, Hannah. Yes. The map is my favorite part of the game. Update that damn map. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess. Workshop? That sounds good. Let's go there. I am looking to hunt androids at, at this, uh... At this point. Give me scraps. Give me things to hunt androids. I don't know why I've suddenly decided to go on the offensive. 
because I the alien's s- gone. I still don't, but I mean, I still don't have anything, you know. I an EMP mine. Um. And a flare. Are you sure we grabbed everything back in that area? Um. No. Should we? I mean, since we're low on items, do you want to make sure? Make one more. Uh, one more run through it. Yeah. All right. What do we got? Let's go through here. Yeah, it's just like there's a lot of shit. There is. Oh. What? Oh. oh my gosh, I'm so happy we went back. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Cool. Ion. We all now right, have the else? ion flame. What about it? Yeah, yeah, look, all this This stuff. would have been another one of those fucking things where we get, like, so far, and right. then we go, Oh, huh, what do we do? There's no ion torches. Mm-hmm. Did you ever play uh, Final Fantasy VII? Did I ever oh, play Final Fantasy VII? Are what are you, crazy? Off. Of course so, I played Final Fantasy VII. funny story about when I played Final Fantasy VII uh, is that we got all the way to the very end. When I say we, I mean my little brothers and I. We would do this thing, kind of actually like what you and I are doing right now, where we would play together and, one, and we would like talk about the game as we were going through it, and we would hand off the controller we are each good at different things. I feel like people have been doing Let's Plays a while. I just think we haven't had the proper YouTube. for Wait, why, it. why aren't you going to open that door? Well, that was just exhausting my options. Oh, well. um, so yeah, we were doing this with Final Fantasy VII. We got all the way to the end where you have to climb that huge ladder. Oh, yeah. And we didn't have the key. What? <laughs> we had not, we had missed it. Oh, man. And you had, we looked it up on the internet, which was like just becoming a thing. And it was like, you had to go back through a couple hours of gameplay if you missed wow. it. Wow. So I never finished the game. Well, there's a debate there about level design, mm-hmm. right? How obvious should things be? Should people be allowed to make that mistake? Dude, uh, I would argue no. And I know you would. I know. <laughs> I think there's merit to that, though. You Just also don't want to make things play. super easy for people. I was like 11. Oh, no, no, I know. I mean, I don't want to use that specific example. We're just talking about it. I just mean, like, if you make things too easy for people, it's not even really a game. Well, that's not true. I don't want to say that. There's... But we've already invoked a lot of these indie games that are... You know, people debate whether or not uh, Gone Home is a game. You know, because it's I not particularly that. challenging, let's say. I don't know that game. Um, Gone Home is a game where there aren't any enemies. There's no fighting. Uh, there aren't really even puzzles. It's just kind of exploration and storytelling. But it's interactive and therefore I would say, you know, validates itself. It maybe, maybe not a game, but that distinction becomes kind of irrelevant at that point. Yeah. Yeah, you're right to be frustrated though. And I don't know about Final Fantasy. I just think it's an interesting design problem. Have you played Monument Valley? Um, I haven't yet. Gosh. I know. Monument Valley is great. Uh, it For was... Everybody out there, if you don't have an iPhone, it's a really great iOS game that's just beautifully designed. If you like Journey, if you know that one, you'll like Monument Valley and vice versa. You know, uh, Frank Underwood likes it on his iPad. <laughs> I know you haven't seen the third season yet, but there is definitely... I would even go as far as to say Monument Valley storyline in wow. uh, season three of House of Cards. No way. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I didn't even know that it was available on the iPad. I didn't either until House of Cards informed <laughs> me. That's hilarious. And I wonder what kind of check yep. was written to whom. No, there's a Polygon article about this, actually. It said no money changed hands. Writers just wanted to use it and uh, called them up. Oh, watch out. Yeah, I'm about to use this EMP mine on this one fucking android. No, don't do that. No? No way. I just don't know where I'm going. Yeah. And I'm starting to get really frustrated with all these goddamn androids all the time. Yeah. I'll just run in this billow of smoke. No big deal. I think the most frustrating thing would be you using that EMP mine on one dude. Alright. We need to find a way out of the workshop. Oh, really? Um, I really want to get rid of this guy. He's the only problem in here. <laughs> <laughs> he... I'm going to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
listen. That's funny. I am going to catch you. You're starting to test my patience. Believe me, I know how you feel. You should really just hit him. That's it, man. You love whacking the androids with the wrench as if it's going to do anything. I mean, I can light him on fire. There's not... Okay, no, I need to like... That's less effective. Wow, this music is really just uh, going for it. I don't think I have a lot of choices here. I'm just going to go for this. I think I could probably convince him to leave, but fuck it. What I was saying was, I'm going to wait for him to leave. Uh-huh. There's nothing worse than making a call on something, you know, difficult choice, put yourself at risk. You do it, and then the reason you put yourself at risk is totally a fucking wash. Mm-hmm. where the AI is. Sorry. Extremely sorry for the current disruption in services. Hmm. Sorry, I wanted to listen to that. Um, let's pause that for a moment sure. while we read Tomorrow Together, number three. Together Tomorrow, Siegson's Journey into Colonial Space, an official history by Sebastian Sieg, first printed in Eye of Siegson, our ascension to Sevastopol. While Siegson prepared for its ascension into colonial space, its foothold was under construction. Sevastopol, a station with unparalleled potential and a perfect position deep in deep space. Sevastopol began as Freeport, built by Lorenz Sistek, Development. I thought they were going to try and sell me <clears throat> that Lorenz Sistek was a person mm -hmm. for a second. I was about to get mad. Uh, and funded by our friends at Geofund Investor. The station's opening would, however, coincide with tumults in the space race. Years of mismanagement and the rerouting of the Sol Theodos flight plan left Sevastopol in real danger of being decommissioned. Thankfully, Siegzum were waiting in the wings to <laughs> re-energize the station among many others. Uh, in 2124, we arrived in Sevastopol and made possible the buzzing cosmopolitan hub you see today. Mm. So a little opportunism happening there. Uh, also the Sol Thetis flight plan. Thetis? Theod Thetis, I feel right? like I can't get enough. Yeah, it says there in this room. I don't want to make it easy, huh? What about that door? Oh yeah, this thing, the table. Aha. I can't read that upside down. Okay, let's see. There's a power conduit that links to the Apollo core. I can use that. I think you're fit. Turn off the electrics, take some deep breaths, squeeze. Easy. I'm not coming up there to pull you out if you get stuck. 4930. Yeah. All right. I love hearing her do what we do. You know what I mean? Go up this thing, go over here, move this thing to the left. Yeah, it'll be easy. Mm-hmm. Save. Wow, this is gorgeous right here. Yeah, it's really pretty. The way the light just clicked on this uh, aqua. Hardly not to a live conjure is going to hurt though, right? I'll have to power it down first. Whoa, even the emergency thing is... A little different, yeah, same thing. You know what's great is I know right now if we were able to touch that floor, I know the texture, I know that it'd be kind of cold. Seriously, mm -hmm. just good job. Unless some asshole, it's like... It's got some, like, water sparks, put too. Put a flare on it or something, you know what I mean? What a dick. It's good to amuse yourself in these games. <laughs> oh, well, probably Thetis. It's like a bullet train. Japan, right? Yeah, yeah. I've come over to Apollo to find out what set this you guys crazy. This place has gone to hell. Apollo's redirected core android duties, and they've just walked away from the maintenance we requested after we got the news. 
coolants everywhere, gas has escaped, and the primary access lift has shut itself down. I flagged the help request, but apparently I'm 45th in line. Systems are suddenly obsessed with hazard containment. I'm gonna find a way down. Spreading out. So yeah, I think we're literally traveling to the core, because that's, you know, what you do in movies like this. Huh. You go to okay. the core. Ah, uh, you know, something's fucked up on the server, the remote desktop is fine, and you have to look for it. You've got to be shitting me. Uh-oh. Okay, so not in the angry room. <laughs> No, 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 go turn around, turn around. Go one of these doors, right or left. Are these... I keep getting, uh... keep getting confused in what is and is not a door. Yeah. Well, we definitely don't want to turn around. Maybe no, we want to use that computer. Room. Good idea. Want to go in. That was a green button. Oh, I see. I'll bet. Oh, I don't like this at all. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this at all. No. Yeah. This is like every time I go to the courthouse. You gotta put your flamethrower on the belt. <laughs> I was hoping you would just leave that one alone. Um. Go through. I mean... It's not like I was using any of those anyways. Uh, whatever, dude. Go All through. I need is this flare. No, can you pick them up? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no. Will you please let me it through this? It looks like there was a button you got to push. Yeah. Um, by the oh, belt. Oh, maybe I have to, like, oh. actually go through. There you go. Yeah. I was going through the metal detectors wrong. Uh -huh. Another problem I have. Inaccessible. Ricardo, the lane's blocked off. The schematics they use for the Sylvesterpool sales tour should be nearby. See if there's a back door. A back door? Compass. Schematics. Check Apollo sales tour schematics. Where would I find said schematics? I was gonna say, I think it's part of the slasher paradigm that I'm used to. I mean, we talked about this, um, uh, Survivor Girl, you know, you have a pack of people, you know one's only going to make it out, and you've usually identified pretty early which one it is. It's a very lonely existence, being the, uh, Survivor Girl. <laughs> All your friends die around you. You know, you I don't know if we had any friends. Well, we had people on the ship, and they're all just disappearing. You're on the floor above the Apollo core. This whole area contains Apollo supportive systems with the AI core itself at the center. Apollo prevented Samuels from lifting the lockdown remotely, but once you're inside, he made sure it'll at least talk to you. I have to keep reminding myself that there's going to be an alien. But let's recap something really quick. What is Apollo? Why is it so difficult to communicate with it? And what are we going to do when we get here? Okay, good. Um, Apollo, my understanding is Apollo is the AI for this entire right. place. And it has two noses. It has, right. The dual-nosed, the infamous dual-nosed AI. Uh, and it's hard to communicate with because uh, it's crabby for some reason. Uh, we should Grumpy. revisit why that is. Grumpy AI, okay. But first, we should read some logs. So we're going to physically go to the location.